Hi everyone, this is a document controller software. The purpose of this software is to record the documents, issue date, dates, expiries, or and of course any sort of document you can record, such as annual maintenance contracts, any other contracts, SLAs, driving license, passport. So as soon as you log in into the software, it gives you a pop up about the expired documents or the documents that are going to be expired in n number of days. n number of days means, of course, in this software, you can define that if the documents are getting expired in 15 days, 30 days, so only those documents should appear. So let's start with the first screen. This is a login screen. Put the username as admin. Password also admin. Of course, later on I'll show it to you how you can change this password. Welcome to Document Controller. Okay, now here you can see automatically the pop up comes. AMC software, the first record is AMC software system PABX. Uh, some details are there. Issue date is uh, 1st Jan 2014 and the expiry date is 31st December 2015. And uh, site name is Alpha Hotel London, right? So, of course, you can uh, record different sites also, uh, record documents for different sites. And then later on, you can take the reports also site-wise, like if uh, branch offices are there and then those all documents also need to be recorded in a centralized location, you can use. And this software is very handy. Uh, it's a portable software, just you need to install Microsoft Access 2010 runtime libraries. And you can go ahead. Okay, now here you can see AMC software PAVX 1st Jan 2015 expiry date 31st December 2015. Now I have kept this record as a sample for you. Now site name is here alert. Now alert alert is selected. This means that although it is expired, but still this record will appear in the alert. Okay, for the time being, I'll just close this window because it is showing okay two uh, documents one is amc software for the pabx the other one is website agreement is getting expired on 30th of august 2016 which is already expired so let's close this window okay now you can see here we have different options now this options is uh, these uh, this on the left panel left panel is basically for the record navigation to enter add edit or uh, delete any records the right hand side right pan is basically for the system settings so let's start with let's say how can we enter a record so click on active docs single record active docs means that the records which are not yet expired now this is the sheet view and this is archive docs so let's go one by one click on this one now here you can see active document store and this is the license software uh, system is pro vendor protect license count 75 place of issue london fee whether you consider in their hands uh, ad or us dollar or uh, pounds it's up to you issue date expiry date and attachments now presently there is no attachment but of course you can click on this one and you can add as many as documents you want to have it but just keep in mind that if you attach heavy documents and definitely uh, your database will be increased the database size will be increased but still it is fine that should be fine because the software can support uh, up to the gbs okay site alpha hotel london so drop down you can select okay from here also type License software, license hardware, AMC software, AMC hardware, warranty document, uh, license software perpetual, website agreement, social media, bulk email service, Microsoft Online Exchange, complete solution hardware software. So these types also you can define as per your desire. System also like Pro, PMS, back office, point of sale, call accounting, CCTV, PABX, door lock system. All these systems you can define and then you can come to this window. To add the documents these are the vendors license count and then this is a site where you can put the site intended section 
like maybe like alpha hotel london or alpha hotel london can have multiple outlets also so if it is intended for a particular outlet you can search if the outlet here department department means okay to which department does it belong engineering security kitchen whichever responsible or slash owner responsible means uh, if this is a protec the software okay and uh, the license type is software so ultimately normally IT department is responsible so and this is the responsible owner or owner of the document who is responsible to keep track of the document description file location file location locations also you can define different locations like maybe uh, uh, you have a particular document store centralized document store where the physical location uh, of the file basically uh, and uh, because of course in the attachment you can attach software copies soft copies okay the next thing is here you can see on the top right hand side alert selected okay now the thing is this agreement is going to be getting expired on 31st December 2016 it is included in the alert but if we see this document is not appearing on the main screen I'll show you show expiries look that document is not appearing here because the reason is that go to alert parameter click on this one here you can see I need um, expiry days okay expiry days 30 30 means that if you have put 30 days here so the documents which are getting expired in coming 30 days only those documents will be appeared on the alert screen I hope this is very simple stuff <clears throat> for the navigation these are the buttons you can move okay and uh, let's say now this document is expired and on this screen it is coming in alert now if you want to have for example this contract is renewed already right renewed signed and duly signed and now this record is expired already so what you can do this record is here already what you can do duplicate this record so but this record is expired so it should not appear in the active document store it should be it should be archived so what you can do you can click archive okay so it will not appear anymore in the alerts second thing because this agreement is renewed already so what you can do rather to type again and everything each and every detail just click on duplicate okay so this is the new record so what you can do okay starting from 1 1 2016 31st December 2016 now ultimately you can see okay expiry date is the color is changed earlier it was coming in red color the only thing is because before to, uh, copying the record we selected the original record was archived now this is the active record so uncheck this one and check alert so before or on 1st of December 2016 this record also will start to appear in your alerts so ultimately you can take corrective actions or uh, not the corrective actions but of course the due code due actions you can take okay let's go back to the home active docs sheet now in this thing this is the single record where you can enter the records okay you can see we have around uh, these are sample records 17 records so get back go back to home active doc sheet view now if you want to see see that how many total documents active documents are there so you can see these are the small active documents these documents are appearing in the sorting order whichever documents is getting will be getting expired or already expired those documents are appearing on the top plus it is showing you the site if there are attachments but keep in mind one thing that you can't change the record here uh, it will not save the record basically so you can change here it is showing you change but it will not save the changes so to do uh, to have any changes you need to uh, revert back 
to the change view click on change view and then you can come here to sheet view and here you can see okay alert 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 now if this document if this document is already expired 30th 8 2016 and here you can see the doc ID is 38 you go to change view here you can see 38 okay search 38 and then you can remove it from alerts put it in archives click save go back home now you see that record is no more appearing in the alerts in the, in the active document sheet view go back home okay archive doc single record archive doc why we are keeping the archive docs because uh, most uh, in most cases what we have seen that if you have uh, a current record uh, a current AMC or current contract which is expired now and you have renewed so sometimes later on for historical purpose also you need to have a look or you need to sometimes you need to refer uh, put a reference to the old record so at least you will be having archived uh, store where you can have soft copy and you can have ultimately whatever the record was here like the price or the number of licenses what was the vendor which who was the vendor from which vendor you got uh, the contract and then the site so all this historical record will be there in the archive doc but if you want to delete of course from the archive also and you don't want to increase the database size or if the record is not uh, needed anymore in the future so definitely you can click on delete now uh, keep in mind uh, one thing that delete button is only available if uh, the user is having administrator rights normal user can can't delete delete button will be uh, uh, disabled home archive doc sheet view so these are the archive docs in the sheet view so you can see here then for the different sites also you can filter that okay uh, only uh, for the hotel New York so only for New York uh, it will appear okay clear filter Mm -hmm. okay anyways there is some problem that will be sorted out okay so here yeah. so this filter definitely and uh, I'll work on it I'll sort it out what's happening here but anyways this is a filter so by this way filled by this filter you'll be able to do the filtration of the documents click on home okay and this is your expiries if you want to view again that which documents are getting expired because uh, both the documents we have cleared out so that's why no document is appearing here click on reports okay expiring documents in days number of days okay in end days end days means that if you remember that in the parameter uh, alert parameter uh, we have configured 30 days so whatever documents are getting expired in 30 days only those documents will appear but based on these sites expired documents by date range archived documents all active documents regardless of the site active documents by system active documents by date range and these are uh, the system parameter reports like place of issue file location so let's see doc owners so these are the doc defined doc owners if you want to print this just press ctrl p and the report will be printed let's say um, vendors or document types what type of documents how many types are defined so ultimately you can add more types also I'll show it to you how okay so these are the reports I hope you got go back home now click on systems here you can add the systems so you can see 31 records you have okay click on home document type so if you want to define any type let's say uh, health cards for example yeah of course you can put the record for the health card of employees also so this one is this click on home 
and then you can add more parameters also click on sites if you want to add sites different sites departments these are the departments sections countries users okay now users yeah okay so here this is the user admin designation department uh, now level level one level one means that level one can only delete a record level two can't delete a record so if you put level two this means that it will be a normal user you can add the record but can't delete the record now for the help click on this button and this is the help uh, what are the system requirements I have put there system setup how to start getting started and this little bit information is there so this is all about the document controller if you feel that yes it's a good useful software let me know and uh, I'll be putting a link uh, from where to download this software